That has to be hard, though. It's very hard. It's inevitably political. Yeah, a dynamic environment <laughs> skewing、um, towards negative. There are things that we can't control. There are things that we cannot control because engineer culture and you know a, a, a Wall Street culture is also very different. Centralized exchange is a different animal, right? Oh,、wow, that's a. That's a big I like to、question. start with a very big question. <laughs> that's a big question. The future of crypto is decentralized, and the platforms that end up being the winners are the ones who understand this and will move away from centralized systems. Centralized exchanges have played and will play a huge role in the way that we transact, the way we trade, and certainly in the way that we get fiat in and out of the crypto sphere. But. The exchanges that are forward-thinking are committing wholesale to Web3 and to the decentralized side of exchanges as well. Hong Fang, president of OKX, one of my favorite guests, came on to discuss this very phenomenon. You don't want to miss this one. That's dope. Talk about when you came here, what it was like, and how you've built everything it's become now. Wow,、oh, that's a that's a big question. I like to、question. start with a very big question. <laughs> that's a big question.、Uh, well, Singapore office was got、uh, was started a year and a half ago, so this office was new.、Uh, our U.S. team, when I went to U.S., it was like 2019. And I was、uh, leading the OK Coin business globally, so build a lot of the、uh, infrastructure there, including marketing, legal compliance, uh, uh, and on the business side, you know, some of the some of the business, as well as product and engineer、uh, capabilities. And I think、uh, we've come a long way, yeah, over the last few over the last few years, particularly the last two years. I think we've come a long way. Uh, in that process, I think what、well, what is beautiful is that we have a a group of people who not only feel passionate about what we do, but also are all very humble and open. And because you know this is something that we're very unique that we are building. At least that's how I personally feel.、Uh, because our team is truly global.、Um, But because we are global, there are just a lot of things that we need to learn from each other,、uh, and also the industry that we are in, you know, has so many different pieces, right? It's not just tech. There is also financial elements. There's regulatory element. But then,、um, how do you right, find that balance?、Uh, because engineer culture and you know a, a, a Wall Street culture is also very different. Uh, so it it does take a very special personality、uh, to to be able to you know thrive and enjoy the building and an environment. And I think the lucky thing that you know you mentioned that the emotional moment that I Heider and I had last night. I think it's that right. It's the it's the the ability to actually enjoy that process. And and in that process, you end up not building a, a better. Platform、uh, and a better team, but also grow personally. You get to understand what you are good at, and and more importantly, what you are not good at. And for those that are we are not good at, you know, either we try to push ourselves, push the limit, or we find people who are good at.、Um, and the same thing, you know, applies to our business, right? We we have to、uh, recognize what we are good at and what we are not good at. And、uh, be very selective in doing what we are good at, and and then just give up those things that we don't care about and we cannot do. That has to be hard, though. It's very hard. It's I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned personally. Like, it's actually many times it's not about what you choose to do, but actually what you choose not to do that actually define、uh, who you are, what you can accomplish. When you came, it's my understanding that it was primarily the, the centralized exchange、yes. business was the main business. But now Web three has become become a huge focus, yeah, which could be disruptive to your other business. Yes. So to some degree, you're disrupting your own model. So、yes. why have you guys committed so heavily to the Web three side, and and what are you building there? I think the ultimate、uh, reason is that we,、uh, at our heart, are. Engineer-driven、uh, idealists, 
Star is an engineer by heart. He is a product manager by heart. He cares about what we can build ultimately to make things better. But at the same time,、uh, we're also very pragmatic, right? Because in order to actually build something,、uh, there are a lot of traps along the way, and there are how many, how many,、uh, how many times we hear the, the line of you know, crypto fix it, Bitcoin fix it. But there are many things that we cannot fix,、uh, and there, you know, there's excitement about tokenization, excitement about you know, payment through crypto. But you know, it takes long time for some of those to actually come to fruition. So, so I think it's that combination of、um, being an idealist,、uh, but at the same same time being pragmatic.、Uh, I think for for us, you know, when we think about what we want to do, fundamentally we view ourselves as a technology platform.、Uh, because of that, we intentionally have chosen to. Invest in technology and invest in a more decentralized future. The centralized platform is、um, is a must, right? For for us as a platform to to serve our customer and to survive throughout volatility and, and cycles. And it's also a must for the industry to start with because you need that centralized liquidity to have a free market and whatnot. But at the same time, we also believe that ultimately. The technology intention of the technology is to really put the power back into the people, and then how do you actually build it better? That's only part of the choices that we have made, right? To really invest in technology, but the other part of the choices we intentionally made to not do to do, do certain things, like we do, we chose not to do the, the like view trading as our business. There are many times when the projects came to us and say, "Let you know, why don't you park?" Some of the cash with us, and we can give you yield. And we said, no, we're not interested in it because we're not in the business of seeking short-term profitability. There are listing、uh, choices, right? You know how to actually view listing, and we believe that listing is for us to actually help the customers find the right project long-term, and so that customers coming to the platform they can make money. But you know,、uh, I think there there are those choices that you make. But ultimately, we believe that we are here to to function as a platform.、Uh, um, we don't want to take on those balance sheet risk or trading risk or trade against others. If we do trade, it, there is a purpose, it, which is to make it easier for the customer. But we don't want to, you know, we want to disintermediate ourselves as much、of、as、course. possible.、Um, So, so I think that's a constant. There's there are constant、uh, discussions around that, but I think those are,、uh, if we look back, I think a lot of those decisions are pretty consistent、uh, in terms of how、uh, where we're drawing the line. I mean, we've seen in this environment, and maybe it's market driven and all the regulatory things happening in the United States. But there have been times when decentralized exchanges have actually been doing significantly more volume than centralized exchanges. Is that something that's on your radar? Do you believe that、yes. the Web three side could actually become the core of the business, we, or be larger than the centralized side? We truly side, believe that. We truly believe that. Actually, I was at Permissionless before coming to Singapore, and、uh, you know, the, one of the theme I'm looking at is really to look at the markets and where we are. And I think again, there is a pretty uh, uh, there is some discrepancy between what. what The market prices are、uh, out there versus what's actually happening in the market.、Uh, if you look at a lot of the uh, on-chain uh, data, the trends are pretty positive, right? Even the the you know what you mentioned, the percentage of the transaction volume on DeFi versus CFI, the percentage actually are pretty resilient. It went up at some point to twenty, but dropped down a little bit, but it's still at like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen percent. You know, I, I strongly believe, and I think it's our、uh, corporate philosophy too, that that piece will continue to pick up over time. There are regulatory and compliance requirements on the CFI side,、uh, because when you in, introduce more people into into this world, people need on ramp, and and that means that you need to actually connect with the existing financial system. But how do we actually build that parallel permission permissionless? System,、uh, I think that that's something that we all feel very 
excited about and 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 also you know a strong uh, sense of purpose there too and as an american obviously it gives me the actual option to yeah participate yeah and to interact with the platform when yes. i can't with the, the core yeah. okay yeah uh, project does it worry you at all we now know i think what the rules are for the centralized side. Yeah. Did it worry you that the rules could change on the Web3 side or that there that something you're doing now could end up being That's, viewed as yes. non-compliant in the That's future? That's possible. Um, even for centralized, right, that there, there are still areas that, that has that ambiguity. Yeah. But, you know, I think for, for the um, decentralized part, uh, there will be, you know, we are watching. Uh, there are certain parts that I think are probably less ambiguous than others, but, but we are watching. I hope that, you know, we've seen in the CFI world in US, there are uh, just, you know, these high profile cases, Coinbase, Ripple, that was brought to, to court. And I think uh, as an industry, we're lucky that there are players, you know, uh, by a lot of kudo to, to Brian Armstrong and, uh, and Brad, you know, they actually stand up for themselves um, and and let everything go through the judicial course in in U.S. and I, I feel grateful as part of the industry, and I hope that for DeFi, if if really comes to that, you know, we as an industry can actually see similar things happen and defend uh, what's right for for the people. Do you think there will be a time when your core business is just the same everywhere in the world? And you don't have to navigate this regulatory arbitrage and what's happening in this place, this place, and otherwise. I don't know. I don't think that. I I don't know. I think it will probably be quite natural for uh, regulators in different jurisdictions to ask for different things. There may be certain themes uh, that somehow will converge over time. I think for the CFI side, you know, some, there are some clear clear rules like sanctions. KYC, right. those pieces, I think, uh, customer protection, disclosure, there are pieces that I think will converge. Uh, but then there are still differences in details, even for KYC. Of you know, KYC requirements in Europe are different from US, from Bahamas, from Dubai, from Hong Kong, Singapore, right? So I think there will still be differences. And then when it comes to, for example, you know, asset listing, there, there's a wider divergence, divergence of what each regulator is asking for. And then when you move along the continuum and get to DeFi side, you know, it's, it's even, even more dynamic. Um, so I think it's probably going to be quite natural. Uh, but I'm hoping, I'm, ho I'm really hoping that U.S. Uh, policymakers will be able to reset and then uh, lead because uh, I do think that right now, yes, um, the policy guidance in U.S. is kind of in a... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. How do we say this politically? <laughs> ne negative environment. Dynamic environment. Uh, dynamic environment <laughs> skewing um, towards negative. <laughs> dynamic environment. But, but I'm hoping that, that it, um, we can reset. And I do think that, you know, the rest of... The, the majority of the, the world is actually watching and they still view uh, U.S. as a leader in this aspect. So I think if there's something that, um, that can be done in U.S. that is forward looking, that is common sense, that is non-political, that goes back to the ground of really protecting people, right? I mean, think about, you know, when uh, Internet in, in IT uh, was introduced and there was, you know, debate about how to regulate that. And I think we get to a, a reasonable place. Uh, I mean, this is similar. The only uh, complexity is that crypto or Web3 or what, however you want to call it, or Bitcoin <laughs> versus crypto. Like, again, there's trip, but, but, but you know, uh, th this, this industry not only is, is technological, but also touches on value which inevitably touches on money and yeah. you know, like it, it's inevitably yeah. political. Yeah. But, but I hope somehow, you know, we can still get back on our feet and set things straight and, and leave a clearer room from like there is actually, you know, legislative guidance in terms of what actually does not have to be regulated and what need to be regulated. And I think the centralized piece should be regulated. I agree. And you can argue to what extent, like stablecoin is a different animal, 
centralized exchange is a diff- different animal, right? But but then the DeFi part, you know, there I sh- there should be bigger room because you can see when the public pilot policy uh, uh, stances are different, people vote with their feet. It, it's harder for individuals to move around, uh, but institutions move around and capital move around. Uh, so, you know, that's what we see. We're seeing is, uh, institutions and capitals moving to Asia, moving to Dubai, to Europe. So uh, sad as an American, but yes. It, you know, um, I think it's coming back, though. I think so. I think yeah. so. I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, I'm hopeful as well. So of all this, everything you guys are building, what are you the most, before I let you go, I know you got to go back to work, but what are you the most excited about? What do you think? will be the biggest change that you'll see in the business over the next few years? For, uh, I, I, I think we'll, uh, you know, for us, it's two part. One is to invest in technology. I think that part will continue to be moving forward. Um, our uh, Web3 team has already done a lot, right? Even before Web3 product goes out, there's a lot of on-chain stuff that the team has to do to make sure that the centralized exchange actually operates smoothly. Uh, so we've actually accumulated a lot of that uh, uh, know-how and we'll continue to actually invest in that part. I think that is actually something that I feel very excited about. The other part is uh, you know, about the team and, and scalability and infrastructure. And I think we're building something that is very uh, beautiful and unique here together with the team and, and what I really feel uh, grateful and proud of is um, that the team is really uh, open and resilient, and we have a lot of people, you know, who are, who are willing to take a step back and think about what we are doing and reflect and learn from each other. And I think that is a quite beautiful. You know, we want to continue to do the right thing and just keep moving. There are things that we can't control. There are things that we cannot control. Uh, so really just focus on what we can control. I think it's incredible what you guys have built and being here in the office and really seeing it and being at the event last night and being at Token 2049 and being in Asia, there's still just an incredible groundswell for everything that's building and you guys are doing such a tremendous job and it's so nice to get out of the United States and see that because <laughs> it re-inspires and I think reinvigorates you, makes you want to go home and do better. But what you guys have built yeah. is incredible. I can't we wait will. to see. We'll, we'll, get, we we'll will. get there. And I can't wait to see what you build over the next few years. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Scott. That's dope.